Welcome to Emerge Tech 2024 Mumbai chapter hosted by CIO News. I am Simran Shivalkar, a journalist at CIO News and your host for today. Today we have with us Mr. Austin Gomes. He is the Director IT at GIA India Laboratory. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. <laughs> How do you feel uh, joining, you know, being a part of this event? How has your experience been? So today the lineup of all the panelists, the speakers, they were amazing and I think uh, MLCH Tech 2024 has been a successful show put up today by CIO News. I really enjoyed the day. Thank you, thank you and we look forward uh, to having you in more such events. Uh, so my question for today is because you're, you know, you're from the cyber security domain, any common uh, misconceptions or challenges that you would like to address? Oh, there are a lot of miscommunication and challenges uh, employees and organizations have. Uh, it is always understood uh, by the organizations or mostly the InfoSec uh, department that, you know, they have put all the uh, required safety in place. So they would have put a firewall, they would have put uh, EDR and XDR at the end points and lot many things, so many solutions that are available in the market, a lot of them have been put and they have a sense of safety that they carry, but it may be a false sense of uh, safety that is there. On a regular basis, while you have put all the solutions in place, there's a need that you do continuous audits and uh, say suppose you put the firewall, but then there could be misconfigurations that happen over the period of time while you are put, providing access to different business units, to employees. And these are some of the loopholes that get developed over the period of time. So it's not the best of the solution that you have put in, but the regular upkeep, the uh, hygiene of the configuration that is there is one of the critical things that needs to be taken care of. Well, very well said. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. On the same lines, now that uh, you also spoke about the hygiene and you know everything needs the audits. So, with uh, a lot of uh, remote working ecosystems being embraced. We see a lot of work from home opportunities. What are your thoughts on these uh, opportunities and cyber security? How do they, you know, intersect? So uh, I think uh, now it's a given norm that, you know, people are no more uh, working only from the office. It's a hybrid kind of environment. And the challenges with the organization is that how do you secure uh, the access that employees are having from, from their homes, from wherever they are working, how to keep them productive as well as uh, keep them safe as well as the organization assets, the technology assets safe. So the challenge there would be to have the right mix of it provides the required security and it also doesn't hamper the productivity for the organization. Wonderful. Thank you once again for answering that and lastly, any word of advice that you would like to give to our young professionals wanting to make a mark in this uh, domain? You mean uh, the students who are fresh out of the college and uh, yes. looking for aspiring for cyber security? Yes. Uh, I think since they are just out of the college, we do not expect them to have a lot of uh, experience in terms of protecting the corporate assets. But what would happen is they could develop those skills by staying curious. And I think that goes for any other uh, kind of role. Anybody who is entering into a new role should always be curious, should always have that learning mindset. I think that should be just the right thing to do for a, maybe a, you can call it a booming uh, <laughs> cyber security professional. Thank you Mr. Gomes, thank you for sharing your insights and your wisdom. I look forward to having more such conversations with you. Thank you, thank you so much.